man who go around making bombs. You tell that to the jury that convicted him. Oh. Oh. I beg your... Oh, you're beautiful. Thank you. I got this. It's just for you. Because you're beautiful. Thank you. Do you remember me by? Excuse me? Don't you want to remember me? Thank you. Sam? Sam? Hey! Hey! Sam! Are you all right? Oh, 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 oh this I like. Yeah. You're all right. Boy, you know, they came out of nowhere. That's when they were going to take you. Hey, that's great. I get slugged and you win Cupid dolls. I didn't want it in the first place. What did you win? My next birthday. Come on, Sam. Oh, she's gone. And the Cupid doll drunk. He was right. What? I'll remember him. you two. How long do you think you're going to get by with this flim flam? Stop badgering, Badger. Lieutenant Badger. Play a black tie, Sam. This lieutenant's formal. Play it any way you like. A lot I don't buy. Somebody tried to kill, honey. With a bomb and a cupid doll? Come on. He wore a hat and glasses. That makes it simple. All we have to do is find a man with glasses who wears a hat. And the two guys in the alley, they were young punks. And they're going to take you for a ride and blow her up? Oh. I don't think he believes our story, Sam. Story is right. Three guys, not a mugshot of one. At least we're agreed there was a slight noise in the alley. Now look, Lieutenant, that story is straight. Some phony drunk hands, honey, a rigged cupid doll. Two guys try to put I me out. I thought of you were inside, keeping an eye on Mousy. I was, I was. Some guy just outside the door reaches in, grabs me, and whammo. Lieutenant Mousy was there. You picked him up yourself. Kept him overnight. He's clean as a whistle. But Mousy used to make bombs, remember? He was sent up for it. For your client, he made bombs. Lieutenant. Maybe these guys aren't local. Well, I'll show you a mugshot that's local. Your client. I helped put him away once before. And if he's behind these robberies, he's going right back to jail? Incarcerated? Me? Maxwell Brip? Philanthropist? 
Maxwell Brip is your new image. They still remember Maxie the Soup. As in TNT. Your fame lives on, Maxie. Explosions, robberies, explosions, robberies. Ah, uh, you're awakening a painful memory of bygone days. That's not the way the police see it. I have liquidated my debt to society. I have done three times five in a pen. There have been three times four robberies. And your exact style in the last six months since you've been out. Because some thief steals my modus operandi, must I be fraught with guilt? Mr. Brip, uh, I have other clients. We must finish our business here. What business? First of all, this article for the financial pages. Which photograph to use in the Sunday fashion section? You've been nominated best dressed man. I'm being nominated for a number across my chest. And he promotes my tailor. You never looked lovelier. You'll be back in denim if we don't straighten this thing out. Mr. Brip, if you expect me to create a new image for you, you must cooperate. What do they want from me? Maxie, come on, sit down. Relax, we're here to help you. You've got to give us something to go on, Max. I already done my stretch. Did my stretch? Did. Done. They're trying to place me in Duran's file. Maxie, we followed Mousy for three days. And last night, somebody tried to kill Honey with a Cupid doll bomb, and two guys tried to take me out. You gotta believe me. From them, I know nothing. About them, I do not know anything. Who expects you to, Peyton? Your business is public relations, not bombs. But bombs are Mousy's business. True, true. But Mousy's true blue. Maybe he's changed his colors. Like green is in money. Are you implying that Mousy's a fink? Come on, Max. Mousy knew your operation, and he was there last night. Who else knew? Mr. Brip, this police notoriety is making my job very difficult. You're not helping at all image-wise, you know. You're already a half hour late for the opening of the art museum. The museum is with Do me a favor, Peyton, will you? Image me tomorrow. Mr. Brip, one other thing. Please stop pacing as though you're still living in a cell. I need a drink. Now that your future image maker is gone, shall we talk about the past? They won't let me forget it. You still didn't answer the question. Who else knew about your exact operation besides Mousy? My three other guys. Ah, but they're silver-haired and too old for these capers. And they all live together in a little crooked house. Please, that wasn't kind. The Bastille Club is one of my philanthropies. You built it? And sold support. Why did the cops roust me? I keep these ex-cons off the relief rolls in a return to a life of crime. With all the money you've been spending since you got out of jail, I'm not surprised the police are suspicious. Why do they persecute me? Is it my fault if there's progress in the country and that little 20-acre ranch I bought my old mother turned out to be like uh, downtown Dallas? Look, whose side do you want anyway? That's what the police would like to know. Look, you've got to get this heat off me. For all I know, they may be pulling another job right now. No more. You're lucky we were with you. Where your alibi? Yeah, but one of these days, pow. These guys are gonna ruin my image. If you don't find out who they are, I'll explode. <laughs> found it in Maxie Brip's apartment. He says he kept it for sentimental reasons. That's all. But this time you don't have an alibi. Don't you worry, Maxie. We'll have you out on bail in an hour. Uh-uh. I refuse. You mean you're happy here? This is my alibi. The next job they pull, here I am. Then they can't pin it on me. They won't pull another job when the papers say you're in jail. 
But it ain't gonna get in the papers. That's what a public relations man is for. What took you so long? You took your old sweet time getting here. Look, I'm sorry I was delayed, Mr. Britt. Business, you know. Business? Huh. Blonde business. Meanwhile, a bunch of old delinquents are running around town stealing my old act. I've been engaged, Mr. Britt, trying to keep you out of the papers. Did you? You just do your job, Miss West, and uh, I'll take care of mine, hmm? Don't worry about us, Mr. Payton. Sam and I are... Nowhere. Honey, we're nowhere. Well, maybe this will lead us somewhere. Want to spring your client? Bring a C-note 10 tonight. Park at 122 Broad Street and wait. You better move up, Sam. I can't get out. Clock, right on time. Wonder where they are. Maybe I should have worn my striped trousers. Yes? You should have worn your striped trousers. You're so right. No solicitors. Uh, this is the Bastille Club, isn't it? Terribly sorry. Charter membership only. And none of the female species. This is Honey West. Oh, I do say. I'm still a female species. And I'm Sam Bolt. In that case, please do come in. After you, Lady West. Thank you, Lord Bolt. Allow me to introduce myself. Club host, Piccadilly Charlie. Haven't I heard of you before? Oh, no doubt. The press was very kind to me at my last trial. Called me Prince of the Cat Burglars. Do you still play that game? Good heavens, no. Gave all that up. Not that agile anymore. Besides, all the new buildings have no fire escapes. <laughs> Where's Marcy? In the club room. Hello, I'm Honey West. Shh, shh. You've got to keep it down here. It's very proper. Oh, yes. Why don't you join me and the boys? Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. I was telling the boys, I see you before. You was telling me. Well, how do you know that? We're supposed to be the best in the business. <laughs> With my experience. Meet Maxie's old gang. Do you know why we're here? We didn't do it. I never hurt nobody with my bombs. Maxie's orders. If you can't steal it clean, don't steal it. Sounds like Maxie. But you were carrying guns. They was phonies. That's how we finally got caught. We were pulling the stick up, and the, and the sucker got wise. Why the arcade every night? Oh, I used to hustle arcades. You know, finger man. In and out of your pocket before you know it. Is that what you were doing there? Oh, no. Take my word. Why were you there? Nostalgia. <laughs> Maxie takes good care of us. Right, boys? Forgive me. I've been a bad host. Coffee? Yes, please. Mm. Come on, Sam. Let's go. Excuse us, gentlemen. The QB doll man. Well, that cinches it. If he works here, he must be in cahoots with the old boys. We've been current. Sam, 
I hate to split gray hairs, but those two young men in the back alley, where do they fit? I don't know. And that note we found in the truck. Who else besides us knew Maxie was in jail? Nobody, just you and me. Until Peyton showed up. Sam, I've changed my mind. Let's split a blonde hair. What are you trying to tell me? I feel like doing a little house cleaning for the city. You are out of your mind. Lieutenant Badger, there is absolutely no city ordinance against it. And besides, we like to have our clients in a clean cell when they're in jail. All right. All right, go ahead. Get it over with. All right, go ahead, Sam. Get to work. He had to learn every detail of his past life. In case he missed anything, he had the waiter at the club. Mm -hmm. Here it is, Sam. This is the hair that Maxie took off the shoulder of Mr. Payton. Only it isn't blonde, Sam. It's gray. Mm -hmm. Gray, as in wigs. Yes, Mr. Briff. As I called downtown, they said you've been released. Huh? No, I'm sorry. I can't goodbye tonight. Uh, uh, business. What's that? Yeah. <laughs> the same blonde, yeah. Oh, that's all right, Peyton. Then come on around in the morning. Oh, uh, have fun this evening. <laughs> How am I doing? You're doing fine. You know, I was nervous. I'm not used to playing at this side of the law. <laughs> They aren't wasting any time. They're moving fast. Hold on. Night job, Maxie. That's a new twist. Nah, it's an old twist. This is Thursday night. Tomorrow's payroll. Why an explosion at night? There's nobody around. That's the pull-off to Night Watchman. Learn something new every day. Mark my words. There's a safe someplace. to Lieutenant Badger. Hey, this is a coil with a strong weld. You go back to the truck, Maxie. I miss all the fun. Maxie? Okay, I'll do it, I'll do it. Put your hands up. Or don't move or you're dead. Mr. Payton, you found a new image for yourself. Bill! Get the guns. 
Inside. How much longer? Five minutes. It's a cinch. What are you going to do with them? I got it all figured out. Don't worry about it. Bill, Mickey, come back. Tie him up. Public relations. Don't worry. This will get your name in the papers. You said five minutes? Got it. You out of here in two minutes. I'll set it for uh, four minutes. Blow in 20 seconds. We can make it to the gate. Trick or treat's over. Drop it. Bags over there. How'd you get through the gate? Very easy. This is the Apex Company, ain't it? Yeah? I just told them I was Mr. Apex. Logical. Any further ado, I make this toast to the only female in the species invited into the exclusive Bastille Club with a lifetime charter, honorary membership, Miss Honey West. Here, here, here. Here. Gentlemen, I am deeply honored. I know Mr. Bolt is, too. We only have one problem. We don't qualify for membership. Neither one of us has a record. Oh, but if we've got a record, and we've been waiting to play it since the first time we got out of stir. Boys, Charles, turn it on.